Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to actually set this up and build it to our Android device. So, here we are inside of our Unity project. And what we want to do first of all is switch over to the Android build platform. Because right now, as you can see here at the top of the screen, we are currently working on the PC, Mac and Linux standalone uh, build platform. So, to switch over to Android, let's go File, uh, Build Settings. And now, when you installed your version of Unity, you would have had to then add in the Android module. This can be done by going to the Unity Hub, finding your install of Unity, clicking on the three dots, and then clicking Add Module, and then adding the Android module that way. So, we'll click on Android here, and then we'll click on the Switch Platform button. Now, it shouldn't take too long to switch over to the platform, and once we do that, you can see that at the top left here, it now says Android. Okay. Uh, while we're here as well in the build settings menu, let's click on the add open scenes button to add our currently open scene to the scenes and build list. This is just a list of scenes that will be built for the final game. And of course we need one scene here at least to boot into, which is going to be this sample scene we're currently working in. Alright, next up let's go to player settings right here, we'll click on that. And this opens up a screen here with a bunch of stuff we can change. First of all, let's change the product name to whatever we want to be displayed on screen for the app icon. This is what, we'll be, what, what you'll see for the app uh, whenever you see on your device's screen. So here we'll just call this one our intro to AR uh, core. There we go. Um, the rest of the stuff here can pretty much be left alone as it is. Inside the other settings tab, we can open that up. First of all, we want to enable Auto Graphics API so they can automatically um, set up the graphics APIs that we need. Then we can disable multi-thread rendering as it isn't supported by AR Core. And down here inside of the uh, identification drop uh, section here, we want to change this com.defaultcompany.intro to AR Core to pretty much a unique identifier for our app. Uh, this is what the package name is. And it's just a way for your device to know uh, that this is a unique app. Uh, so the way we normally do it is by going com dot the name of your company dot the name of the product. Now this isn't strict in any way, so you don't have to enter in your actual company name or your actual product name. It's really just a way to uniquely identify your app. So I'm just going to go com dot zenva uh, dot intro to AR core. All right, and then after that, we want to change our minimum APR level from the default 4.4 to Android 7.0 as that is the minimum API requirement for AR Core. Let's scroll down a bit here and that is pretty much all we need for other settings. Finally, let's open up XR settings right here and just enable AR Core supported. Okay, so we got that all done. Now we should be good to actually build this to our device but before we do that, we have to make sure that our device is actually able to have apps installed on it from our computer. By default, this isn't possible, so we have to go into our device and enable developer options and enable USB debugging. Okay, so what you wanna do is you first of all wanna to go to your settings on your mobile device. Then you wanna scroll right down to the bottom to about phone. And then in here, we wanna click on software information. In here, what we wanna do then is just tap on our build number here seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what this does is we then have to enter in our current pin. And then developer mode has been enabled. So we can go back, back to our settings. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see that we now have developer options enabled. We can open that up. And in here, what we want to do is scroll down to USB debugging here. We want to enable that. And what this will allow us to do is connect our device up to our computer and it'll allow us to build Unity games uh, directly to our mobile and add that as an app. Uh, that's pretty much all we have to do on our phone. Now all we need to do is connect our device to our computer and make sure that it is all set up and ready to go. Once that is done and your device is connected, to make sure we can go uh, refresh here on run device and then check to see if our device is here. If so, we can just select it and then click build and run. This will ask us to save it to a certain location. Uh, I'm just going to save it here by default to our actual project folder and it allows you to select, uh, I mean it allows you to enter in a file name. 
Now this can be anything you want as this is the name of the APK and not the actual app that is going to be installed on your device. So I'm just going to call this one app. Click enter and it will begin to build to our device. First of all, check and see if we have any compatible devices and then if so, it will begin to build and then after that is complete, uh, the app should then automatically boot up on your device for you to test out. And when it does so, since we have nothing really in our project at the moment, you shouldn't really see anything happen. But all you really should see is your device's camera. So if you open up the app and your device is pretty much just showing you the, what the camera sees, then so far it is working. So once you do that, we can continue on with learning AR Core in the future lessons.